What's up, everybody? It's Friday, and uh, I'm back. I'm doing a couple of songs today. Um, I'm going to start with uh, a brand new song by an artist I've never heard of. Uh, the group or artist is called Cut Worms. The song is called Ballad of the Texas King. Uh, I just saw this pop up on my feed, and I thought I'd check it out. Um, before I get into it, a couple things. I do have my coffee, as always. I really need to repaint my nails. Um... I'm not a professional. Please don't expect me to be covering this the way a professional might. Um, I'm an enthusiast. And don't be a dick. I, I have no idea if I'm going to like this or not. Um, I I'm a little bit worried that this might lean towards country, which I do not tend to uh, enjoy. But I do try to be thoughtful and respectful when I do these kinds of things. Uh, and I would just ask that we could keep that same energy uh, in the comments. So, with that out of the way, uh, let's get right into it. This is... Ballad of the Texas King by Cut Worms. Mmm, mmm, that's good coffee today. Interesting. Um, okay, so I will say right off the jump, just to be totally transparent, this is not the kind of music I'm going to spend a lot of time listening to. All right. This, I, I will say, this to me 
leans a lot closer to old school country and you know folk music um you know 60s 70s era than it does modern um like pop country which i appreciate because you know there are a couple of artists from the you know the era of johnny cash that i can get into um but i i will say this is just not really the kind of music that does it for me i don't like i i don't like the guitar sound that that uh I don't know, maybe it's a steel guitar? I don't I don't know. That kind of um, whiny... I, I don't really know how to describe it better. It's kind of a whiny guitar sound. You hear it at the end of the first verse. It kind of does a little solo. And nothing wrong with the playing. Nothing wrong with the, the actual solo itself. But the, the, the tone, the, the twang, I don't like. I just never have. Um... And that is, that's me, right? That's just my opinion. That's my taste. Um, I will say, vocals, great. Guy has a great voice. Um, again, a little bit hard to understand. You know, I, either that's my fault for not listening closely enough, or it's just that, you know, I, I am correct and that sometimes all these vocals aren't super clear um, because of the stuff that's going on around him. Either way, uh, I liked his voice. I thought he sounded good. The instrumentation was good. Like, it's very well made, right? And I, I want to be clear about that. I think this is a well put together song, and I can see why people would like it and why people would be into this. Um, I am willing maybe to do another one of these to give another another listen to another song, but like I said, I just I just don't have a whole lot of room in my heart for like country and folk. Um. The twanginess tends to just not not hit me where where it should. The video itself was interesting. Um, it's nice that, that guy found his dog at the end. I did like that cut. Um, that was a cool transition at the very end, where you go from blocking out the light of the spotlight, and then it just cuts to the blinking of the turn signal. It was very well done. Um, it was a pretty seamless transition. And I, I say this all the time when I do these, but I really appreciate artists who put thought into their videos or who prioritize getting um, you know, creative direction and assistance from people who do, right? I, I like people that, that care about this form of art because I think you can get so much better a picture of what the artist is trying to tell you in the song by how they depict it visually. Um, you know, a lot of bands don't really put a lot of effort in music videos. Some bands don't really even do them. And that's okay. You know, I know they, they cost money. They take time. They don't necessarily move the needle for you any. But it always has mattered to me. I always want to see what is the artist trying to communicate visually that I should see in my brain when I'm listening to the song. Right? I want to be able to make those connections. And so artists who take that stuff uh, take that stuff seriously, I, I really appreciate. So that was Cut Worms. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's one guy. I kind of think it is one guy. I don't know if he has a studio band or a session band or if he does it all himself. Um, I'm sure if, uh, if this video does well enough, I'll get some worm heads in the comments letting me know. And uh, I appreciate the uh, forthcoming helpful and kind comments. Uh, but I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, have a good day. Stay safe out there. Drink lots of water. And uh, don't talk to cops. <laughs>